targeted. Here's what police are saying. Neighbors did say that they heard a commotion out in the parking lot, so we believe that it was targeted, but more information will be learned through the 27 year old Shakia Allen and court records suggest that in recent months, police had been to her former home on Bayberry Road for multiple domestic disturbances. In late February, police responded to a report that her ex-boyfriend... All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So look, before I move forward into this video, I just want to start it off with some positivity. And I just want to tell all my supporters out there that I do appreciate y'all. And I hope that everything did go good today during your day, or it will go good today during your day. Just depending on when you see this video or when I post this video. But anyway it goes, I'm simply wishing y'all nothing but the best in every aspect of your life. And when I say that, I'm only talking to my supporters out there and to those who are saying it back to me and recipient the same energy that I'm giving out. But other than that, let's go ahead and move forward into this video because we got a lot to talk about. And uh, before we move forward, man, I do want to say RIP to this young lady. I want to send my condolences out to her family. You know, for her to be 27 years old and to lose her life the way that she lost her life at the age that she lost her life, got to be very, very traumatizing, man. You know, her name was Shakia Allen and she was in Baltimore. And Basically, long story short, man, I was on Facebook and I seen that this young lady was going viral everywhere. Everybody was posting the video in totality. Now, it wasn't nothing but like a 45 second video, but I will not be posting the last couple of seconds due to YouTube, of course, but I can still post it if I wanted to. But just out of respect of the family, I won't post him actually taking her life because, you know, because I just feel like that's very, very sad, man, that people are willing to go ahead and go that far to show every single step of the way, you know. Now, this was recorded on Facebook Live from what I'm understanding, and I feel like that ain't what's up because I feel like, you know, that type of stuff should be sacred, you feel me? Like, recording on your phone to show somebody else is cool. But anywhere it goes, this video does help out a lot, so I don't want to just put it all the way to the wayside as being something negative. But um, yeah, it's just sad that everybody's out here just, you know, losing their minds over other people. And what I mean by that is, you know, this young dude was basically chasing her everywhere in the apartment complex. And she was stating certain things, basically letting you know that she didn't want to deal with this young man anymore. Well, I can't call him a young man, this dude, this weird fucker. Um, she was saying she had a restraining order on him and things like that. And as I started looking up videos and trying to find, you know, certain things about the situation and stuff like that, I see that she did have a restraining order in place, but due to both of them not showing to the hearing, they threw it out, which is crazy to me. I feel like if somebody's going out, like I said before in my other video, if somebody's going out of their way to place a restraining order on someone, on another human being, because the other human being won't leave them alone. You should take this serious, man. It should be no hearing or none of that. I feel like that, you know, they should actually take what she's saying into consideration and do everything that they need to do to make sure that this dude don't get back to her in any type of way. I do feel like that the justice system is feeling a lot of people in these domestic violence situations and they should take it a little bit more serious. Now, the young dude hasn't been caught yet and this right here is just a brief synopsis of what's going on, but y'all know I will be bringing out more details in depth once I find out more information, but as of now, this is the most that's out here that's being spoke on in this situation, so we finna get into this, but I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this situation and I always remember that this is not love. A lot of people get this misconstrued with love and it's not, it's obsession. And obsession and love don't go together in my personal opinion. Yes, you can fantasize and really like someone a whole lot, but obsession is another thing. And I feel like a lot of people are taking that to a whole nother level and trying to incorporate it with love, and they don't mix, in my personal opinion. Now, I can be infatuated with you and things like that, but to be, you know, like overly obsessive with you is not what's up. But hey, it is what it is. I want to know your personal opinions on this situation. Let's go ahead and move forward into the video. Let's go. You ain't gonna do nothing to get yourself in trouble, bro. I have a restraining order on you. Call the police. That's my name. Police. He said, call the police. It's my right. made up. That's actually recording. Ah! Hey! Get your off here, asshole. Leave your ass alone. I'm calling the cops. Come here, girl. You can't stand out. Come here. Don't you fucking hurt her. You can't hurt her. Hey! Thanks for joining us tonight on WJZ News at 11. We are following developments in Baltimore County where police have confirmed a woman was in the parking lot of what neighbors tell us is a normally quiet, peaceful community. WJZ is live at County Police Headquarters. Jessica Albert, you were the first reporter at the scene this evening. What have you learned? 
Well, Kelsey, police are not identifying the victim yet, but Baltimore County Police say that she was in the parking lot of that apartment complex. Like you said, people we spoke with there today tell us that it's normally quiet there. I thought it was firecrackers. Clearly it was not. Shots at the Renew apartment complex in the 8500 block of Walter Boulevard. I heard two shots, bop, bop, then a little break, and then like two or three more shots after that, bop, bop, bop. And that's how you say it? I'm going to find out right now. Because clearly it was sh and not fireworks. Baltimore County Police say a woman was sh in the parking lot. The sh got away. Neighbors did say that they heard a commotion out in the parking lot, so we believe that it was targeted. Police have not released a lot of information about the yeah, but WJZ spoke to several neighbors who were around when it happened. Just knew not to go outside until like, you know, police came. A few of them have lived in the complex a long time. I've never seen nothing like this. Like I said, I've been living around here for nine years. It's quiet, it's peaceful, it's comfortable. You can walk, sit outside, you know, it's, 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 I've never seen anything like this. While others just moved in. I thought I was moving away from the shooting and stuff, but I guess you can never move away from it because it's going to always be around. And police are waiting to notify the victim's family. That's why they have not released her name yet. But in the meantime, they say if you know anything about this sh they want you to give them a call. Reporting live in Towson, Jessica Albert for the Okay, now, y'all know if you're new here and you don't know nothing about this channel, I like to give everybody a sequence of events. So this was the initial statements that was made and things like that. But we will get her name. I already gave it to y'all, but they're going to give it to y'all and things like this just to verify what I'm saying. But one thing that I do want to say is they're acting kind of oblivious to certain things for certain reasons. But now they have released that it was a restraining order against this guy and they know who it is. But that boy already had his mind made up. He already knew what he wanted to do. This was premeditated in my personal opinion and it should be no reason to talk about nothing. He should be released to the family. Y'all know how I feel about this situation if you've been rocking with me. He should be released back to the family and let them do what they want to do with him. You feel what I'm saying? That eye for an eye needs to be a law in my personal opinion. But for her to be taken like this is just crazy to me. And you got to realize that you don't own nobody, man. If somebody don't want to deal with you, leave them the hell alone. Stop forcing yourself on people who really just don't have a genuine want for you. It's got to be some type of craziness that you have in your mental to think that you can persuade somebody to want you and they don't want you by bringing brute force to them and things like that. They don't make nobody want your ass, bro. You tripping. You tripping. You too soft. You too emotional. And it's just crazy that people are out here taking people's lives because they feel like they own them. You don't own that person, man. You don't own them. That is not of God. That is some demonic, hateful, weirdo type of shit. Let's get back into the video. Well, outside an apartment complex in Parkville. It happened around 3 this afternoon in the 8500 block of Walther Boulevard. When officers arrived on the scene, they found the victim in the parking lot. They rendered life-saving measures and requested an ambulance, but the victim was pronounced dead at the scene. A woman who has lived in the complex for several years described what she saw and heard were not showing her face or giving her name for safety reasons. This is what police are saying. Neighbors did say that they heard a commotion out in the parking lot, so we believe that it was targeted, but more information will be learned through the, throughout the investigation. Police are asking anyone who may have seen something to call. You can reach Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKA. New information tonight about a woman in a Parkville apartment complex over the weekend. As WMER2 News' Jeff Hager reports, the victim had recently been involved in a domestic violence dispute. Mm -hmm. Came here in this Parkville apartment complex in the middle of the afternoon on Sunday, and after the shots rang out, the man didn't appear to be in a hurry to make his getaway. And I saw a guy walking very casually with his hand. By the time police responded, the damage had been done. When officers arrived, they located a female suffering from apparent gunshot wounds uh, in the parking lot of the establishment. The victim was pronounced deceased here on scene. In the initial stages of the investigation, police said they didn't feel there was anything random about this sh They believed that the victim had been targeted. Police have now identified the victim as 27-year-old Shakia Allen, and court records suggest that in recent months, police had been to her former home on Bayberry Road for multiple domestic disturbances. 
In late February, police responded to a report that her ex-boyfriend had assaulted her while she was trying to move her things out of the home. When they arrested him the next day, he surrendered a handgun that he had holstered inside his waistband. While police still haven't named a suspect in her murder, just last week a hearing for a protective order involving both parties was dismissed when they both failed to appear in court. In Baltimore County, Jeff Hager, W... Okay, so what y'all seeing, the, the last statements should have let you know why this shouldn't have been thrown out. This should have been pursued to the maximum extent. There's no way in the hell you're going to get caught for a domestic violence situation, come out, see the person, the next day apprehend him, he has a weapon, and she then proceeds to do a restraining order, and y'all drop it because she didn't show. Maybe she was scared as hell to be around him. Maybe he made threats beforehand. It's so many different things that could have took place beforehand. It's just like they be dropping a ball any other time, man. You know, I just feel like that the justice system should take things very, very seriously when people are out here, you know, begging and pleading for some type of help. And we already know that a piece of paper can't stop nothing. You feel me? But I do want to know your personal thoughts and opinions on this situation. I will bring out more information as the situation develops. But I do want to say RIP to her one more time. I want to send my condolences out to her entire family. And I'm going to try to find some type of press conference or something like that. That way we can get more clarity and clarification on what's happening. But I'm pretty sure they probably won't say too much until they apprehend the person. So, you know, like I said before, I will be bringing out updates on this situation. RIP to her. I want to send my condolences out to her family. And to actually have the witnesses on camera. Got to be some of the most wickedest stuff to have to see. But it is what it is, man. Hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I will holler at y'all later on another video. All right.